Hey everyone, my name is Rhonda Robson and welcome to my art channel. Today we're starting a series of leftover paint and leftover canvases. I can't wait to show you these several projects, so let's just get started. Well, hey everyone, I am back today. Thanks for joining me on my fluid art channel. Today is kind of a special day because I am doing what I call lop paint, leftover paint. It's been about two years since I've done this where I have taken all my leftover paint and have created what I call lot paintings. I've also heard people call them everything but the kitchen sink. And so that's what we're gonna do today. I've got about two years of paints that I have um, had excess of. So like this one right here is an excess of, this is lop mix. So I have scraped it and put it in a bottle or I might have just a tiny bit left over from something I've mixed. Um, I've got some, this is leftover paint as well. This is leftover paint. And, and then I just have things that I mixed up and I just didn't use, right? Um, all of it. So today is me taking all this paint from the last two years and taking some canvases that I may have scraped or didn't like how it looked exactly when it came out, when it dried, maybe it moved when it dried, maybe the surface wasn't level. You know, I got a lot of canvases that I want to um, do today. So that's what we're doing is, I call it leftover paint, or you can call it everything but the kitchen sink. All right, we'll get you down and we'll show you exactly all the paints that I have, and then some of the canvases, and then we're just gonna have fun. Today is a time to learn different techniques, different, use different uh, tools like this guy here, or maybe a comb, right? It's a great time to learn different techniques and different, um, use different tools. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take all this leftover paint that I didn't wanna throw away, and we're going to make some cool projects. I've done this before and these projects sometimes are some of my favorites. So let's get started. All right, so let's start over here. I've got quite a bit of paint and those there that can work as some background paint, all of this as well. Um, you can kind of see some of it needs to be uh, mixed and shaken and that's fine. I don't really care about bubbles, so I'll just shake it pretty good. Um, and then here's a whole bunch in my iced tea bottles. I saved my iced tea bottles and recycle them for my paint storage. And then I have all of this. Some of this is bloom. Some of this is um, for, you know, straight pour. Some of it can be for Dutch pour, but uh, yeah, this is all bloom over here. So it'll probably be really thick and that's okay. And then I even have some right there. So again, this is what I plan on doing. And uh, you can kind of see a, a few of the canvases over there that I'm going to use. And yeah, so it should be actually a very cool project. See you in a bit. All right, everyone. Well, here are all the canvases I'm going to be using. Let's see, there's two, four, six, eight, ten. And not that one there. That one's good. But all of these that are on the floor have all been, I don't know, attempts of stuff. That's I was testing a ton of stuff on that. I tried um, some different techniques on that. That one right there cracked. It was really pretty there in the corner, but it got too thick of the paint. And then I tried some new techniques uh, with these ones back there. And yeah, so this will be fun. Just doing LOP, L-O-P paints, leftover paints, and uh, or you can call it everything but the kitchen sink but anyway we're gonna have some fun all right well here we go we're going to do this canvas it's got a lot of cracking there was one area that was really pretty but um yeah it's ruined so we're gonna go ahead and get started on this one okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this blue down as our base color and it was definitely a leftover paint that I used and I'm going to let you in on a little secret. So this paint, the color dries way different than it did when it was wet. 
Um, so I can't wait to show you what that looks like later. So I'm just using a palette knife and I'm just spreading it out. I've got this going um, a little faster so that you can see everything, but that it's not necessarily taking up a lot of time. The other thing I did have was my dog went nuts with a carrier and my husband was talking to me about his business. So I had all of that as well. So I just figured I would just do somewhat of a voiceover. And so once I did that, then what I wanted to do was make sure that everything was level because this did have some texture in it. So I wanted to make sure I got enough paint on the sides and I wanted to make sure that it was as level as it possibly could be. So you can kind of see me going back and forth, back and forth with the weight of the paint and getting the sides. So now I'm just sprinkling the greens and the blues. I did put this at 100 speed, but here in just a minute, I'm gonna increase the speed and I'm gonna allow the music just to relax you as I'm deciding on what it is that I wanna do with this piece. And now I'm taking some cell activator, some old cell activator, and putting it on my palette knife. And I'm just going to just swipe the area, kind of zigzaggy, wiggly kind of look. Um, but I, I am just going to swipe it. I was trying to determine at one time whether I was going to do white and black, or if I was just going to do white, how I was going to do that. And I really like the white on the blue, so I really focused in on the white. Um, it was still a little bit not what I was looking for, so I started swiping all throughout, bringing the green in and around the area. Um, what I mean by green in and around the area was just like taking some of the blue and some of the green and spreading it over top of the white. Um, but too much wiggling sometimes makes it look weird. So then I ended up tilting this canvas. You know, it was good. And then I used my comb tool and created a neat little design. So I hope you enjoyed the process of this. I um, like the end results. It's not one of my favorite lot paintings, but it's not a bad lot painting. So, um, but the black, but the blue, look at that. It looks almost black, midnight blue. Wow, incredible. Thanks for joining me today. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. And if you like this video, I bet you're gonna like these as well. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Bye. Bye.